it is finally that time of year again spring is right around the corner and we are starting off here in the living room and before i get to decorate i love to start with a clean slate i like to take everything down that way i can rearrange things in new ways and make everything look brand new so let's go ahead and decorate for spring And by no means did I think I was going to refresh in my living room with a little bit of paint job, but it was just time. This color, if you know, then you know, not a big fan, never was. And if anything goes south, I can always go ahead and paint it back to the color it was. The first coat is now on. I'm gonna give it some time to air dry. I'm gonna paint that later when we move out. It'll just be easier not to take the bracket down, but it's already looking so much nicer. And here I am starting on the second coat and I did go around like the corners the night before that was not recorded but I find painting so so satisfying. Something about seeing progress immediately is just so satisfying to me and let me tell you after painting the living room this this wall this color my living room just looks so much more brighter and i am living for it and what a perfect day to do this than now since it is really honestly starting to look like spring but now that the wall has had a little bit time to dry this here is the next morning and as you can see we have brought in our console back, our TV is hung back, everything's looking so much better. So I'm going to start off with my curtains. I did used to have curtains here on this wall, but I had them for winter and it was just time to take them down, put them in the wash. And I got these curtains, I got three panels and I thought, you know, why not open up this window area right here for summer and spring, let the light in. We love some light over here. So hanging the three panels and of course hanging them as high as I can really made my living room look that much bigger and taller. And of course we gotta clean these windows. You know I haven't washed them all fall and winter long and since we have the panels it is time to go ahead and give him a wash and speaking of washing and cleaning I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down my TV over here and I'm just using a mixture of vinegar and water and I just find that it gets all of the streaks out of my TV, my tables, my chairs, you name it, it does the job so so well. It is finally time for the fun part. I am bringing in this beautiful thrifted lamp that I have painted and I just kind of distressed it, made it look a little bit rustic and I am absolutely loving it with the contrast to this new wall that I have here. Here I am bringing in this little box that you can actually put your remotes in here. Like anything that you need, it has you covered. But I'm placing it here next to my lamp and I just just so happened that the color combinations were so so beautiful and bringing in a faux plant and then also styling a little bookend that I found at home goods but I'm not going to use it as a bookend I'm just going to use it as a little sculptural piece in front of my lamp. Here I have collected all of my wires into one little place and that is ugly, that is a big big no no, we don't want to see her. So I am placing this tray right in the center kind of to ground everything and to hide the cords of course and this is perfect to hold all of our remotes, that way it's very easily accessible.
And since we have the large lamp on the other side, I am bringing in this beautiful, beautiful rustic large vase for this side of the table, just kind of to balance the two big pieces on either side. But here I am bringing in this beautiful spring florals. I mean, if this doesn't scream spring, I don't know what does. But I'm just going to go ahead and simply style this. I'm going to add a couple of my thrifted books for some height as well as some candle holders and that's just going to create such a cute and minimal look. I am just trying to make either side of this console table kind of symmetrical but kind of not. Just bringing in different heights and different textures. Here I am placing this basket in this little corner and I would like to thank Goodpick for sponsoring this video once again. I have worked with Goodpick so many times and they have the best baskets for organization. So this basket here is woven, it's bright and airy, it's perfect for spring. I feel like it matches my credenza so so well but I am just storing my pillows and my blankets here. I think it's such a fun way to display your cute little blankets and pillows and I love this beaded little detail on the side but aside from all of that good pick has a really really awesome website to where they got you covered for all of your organizational needs like if you need a basket with any size shape they got you covered there are baskets for your living room there is baskets for your nursery your laundry your bedroom your kitchen the list just goes on I love their Ziploc storage organizers you know that I have used them and I'm a big fan and there is my cute little basket over there I just find like they have the cutest little stuff literally anything your heart desires they got you like so many cute options you don't know where to start but I love Good Pick for their attention to detail like I said before this wooden detail over here just makes this basket so so darling as well as the detail to the handles like how cute and adorable but you guys these split you can use in your living room the size is great like I said before I feel like the color matches so well with my credenza over there and it is perfect for spring and summer so if you need a basket, run over to Good Pick. They got you covered. And thank you, Good Pick, for sponsoring this video. So now moving on to the couch styling, I am keeping it very, very simple. I am bringing in this beautiful thrifted blanket that I got and some neutral pillows. I do have a dark blue thrifted pillow that I have also found and I'm going to display it here on the couch. I think it's going to match so well with my kind of bluish gray lamp over there and it's just going to go ahead and tie everything together. Here I'll be using the same solution that I used to clean my TV. I'm going to go ahead and wipe down this coffee table and I usually do not style my coffee table. I do have four kids that, you know, run through this coffee table from couch to couch and well, it's just not very practical for me at the moment to style my coffee table, but I did have a wonderful friend come over and bring me some beautiful, beautiful tulips and I don't know you guys what says spring more than tulips and they're white they just match my aesthetic and i just wanted to go ahead and display them here on my coffee table 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoy what you see, I hope you consider sticking around. I have so much more spring content coming your way. I am just wishing for warmer weathers, wishing you the same, and I cannot wait to see you next week.